learned that we spend nearly $300,000 per kid in DJJ. I still have not been given a justification for that figure, and I believe the outcomes for our youth do not match the investment that we are making as a state. I am so concerned about outcomes for our youth and accountability for state investment that last year I requested an audit on a separate source of, for juveniles on probation. The over $100 million in counties received annually under the Ju Juvenile Justice Crime Prevention Act. That audit showed what is unfortunately all too common, that there is minimal oversight on the use of these funds. Counties exercise varying levels, but generally minimal accountability over fund uses and outcomes for youth are not tracked. And that is why I am pleased to be part of this conversation today. The governor's proposal to shift the youth in DJJ and the 300,000 per youth and annual funding to counties without any accountability measures is unacceptable. Our most valuable youth are too important for us to let them slip, let them slip through the cracks because we as a legislature are failing to demand better. I support proposals to clearly out clearly spell out what we expect to receive as a state for our investment in youth services.